Hi again, Michael Seip of the Strategic Advisor Board and owner of Seip Coaching and Consulting. On today's episode of Empowered Leadership, we're going to be talking about four ways to promote empathy. Empathy is the act of putting yourself in someone else's problem in the hopes of understanding or bridging a gap. It helps us feel a part of a community and fights against mental health and isolation that we are feeling sometimes. All right, and it is probably one of the most powerful weapons against diving into mental depression. It's a lot of talk nowadays about mental depression and people going and getting help. With so many challenges going on, understanding that empathy can be very powerful and combating that is important to know. So let's think a little bit about the empathy side. It's very helpful when we have these disruptive influences going on in society. So what we're saying with empathy is, I don't know how you feel, but I'm here to listen. I'm creating that space to learn a little bit about what's going on with you. Okay, now for CEOs and business owners, those that perform well, in fact, really well as leaders that are recognized as really exceptional leaders are ones that hang out at energy level six of our thoughts, actions, sorry, thoughts, emotions, and our actions. And so guess what? Empathy is one of those core emotions of level six. And so it's no surprise that those at energy level six practice that empathy piece. So what are some traits or ways of going about bringing in empathy? Well, number one is accept differences, even some seemingly extreme differences. We can talk about the political spectrum or different ethnic backgrounds or different education backgrounds, and we can create some great disparity within the workplace that might be different from our home environment. So we have to accept those differences, even if they're seemingly extreme. Another is to accept that we don't know, meaning don't assume you know how the other person feels. Maybe they just lost a major client or they got fired from their job. Doesn't mean that we know exactly what they're going through. So we want to understand how they're feeling and then acknowledge and validate how they're feeling. That's a great, great trick, not trick, but habit to have is acknowledging and validating how they're feeling. All right. We want to also on a third kind of way, strengthen our consistency. We want to be empathetic over the longer term. We want to be committed to being uh, empathetic. And so what we're trying to do is we're not bypassing and ignoring some of the challenges or problems people are going through. We actually want to continue to un understand and know about them and be apprised of them. That's being empathetic. All right. And then another aspect of being empathetic is we're trying to foster a community. Right? The more empathetic we are, the stronger the community becomes. So we're trying to build trust and rapport, and we're trying to bind us to others. That's exactly what empathy does. And the more we do that with our customers, with our employees, with our investors, with our partners or our vendors, we're building a stronger community because we're executing a sense of empathy across all spectrums, not just with our employees or not just with one or two people we choose to be empathetic with, but across all when we can. All right, so just to recap real quick, we are accepting the differences, even seemingly extreme differences. We're accepting that we don't know how a person feels. We're strengthening our consistency and we are fostering a community. All right, those are four tips on how to be a more empath bring empathy into the workplace. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked the topic, please click the like button below. And if you have any questions or comments, please hit that below. And then lastly, Energy leadership is a great tool for helping build and become a better leader. So please reach out to us at the Strategic Advisor Board about how we can bring energy leadership to your organization. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.